Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're doing well. So the awesome tank you can see behind me is the Angelfish Aquarium, which I set up two months ago. Actually, was it two months? Yeah, it was nearly two months ago. That has gone fast. So everything is doing absolutely immense. All the fish are doing great now. We lost one of them. This happens, but I've got a replacement coming. Hello, little baby. Hello, how you doing? And this is that Angelfish. Is it an Ultim? Isn't it an Ultim? Who even knows anymore? But I'll tell you all one thing I do know. It's going to look stunning over in the Angelfish Aquarium. Oh, and for anyone else wondering, this is the Freshwater Reef Aquarium or Reef Star. So I tried to set up a tank that looked a bit like a reef tank, but is with fresh water. All the rams are doing really well. We've got the two Bolivian rams there as well. They've already set up their own little territories. And it seems to be this one loves this area and doesn't actually mind the electric... Oh, oh spoke way too soon there but yeah this seems to be his little area he doesn't mind the autumn being there that's for sure but they're already setting up their own little territories all around the skate which is great but anyway in typical md fashion it's overgrown so give me a few seconds to trim it back to its former glory so that's looking really good it got that sort of line that follows all the way across like that down there and then back up to the other side now the angelfish has completely freaked out and just ducked right down the back there this one's being brave you brave boy well done but they're all tucked down behind there that's obviously the first time i've had my arms right in the tank doing trimming and that apart from cleaning in the foreground and clearly they haven't enjoyed it <laughs> all the plant trimmings i've got them here hang on Oh, look, that, that didn't get a plan. I'm supposed to look a lot cooler. Um, <laughs> but these are all looking in really good condition. And I've got a bit of an issue with this tank because, as you can see here, well, first of all, all of this is in the way, all of this water lettuce. These are some stems that I had in another tank, and it looks like we've they've brought some algae into the equation this is a no filter tank by the way oh look at that red that's looking lovely yeah this is a no filter tank it's got two sparkling grammys in here <laughs> and yeah it just seems like these stems here have actually got a bit of an algae problem so what i'm probably going to do is just trim them right off right at the base but leave the stumps in there because we get some really nice new growth coming out of that and then I can plant those new stems into here and get it fresh and back on track. I just think it's a really good idea to always use stems again if you can. I just can't bring myself to throw them away. <laughs> I'm going to have to at some point soon because all the tanks are starting to get crammed full of plant, which is actually a good thing, isn't it? But oh well. Oh, and also, guys, hey. Hey. So it's the silver plaque award. It's really cool. I mean, like, it feels really real once you get this. A number is a number, but getting an award, and it's heavy. It's really heavy. And in the next video, I'm going to destroy it in a shred. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I've seen people do that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> now, believe it or not, it's actually the next morning since I filmed that last bit of the video. You could probably tell from my voice, I'm quite tired still. I was up until like two o'clock in the morning talking to a popular DIY fish keeper. Collaboration coming soon, possibly, maybe, when we can fly. <laughs> We're all ready to go. That's all been trimmed beautifully. And guess what? Our fish is here ready to go as well. Look at how beautiful that looks. Are you actually kidding me? Like, this fish always hangs out in this section. You've seen it even in this video as well, but for some reason, the second I want to actually get him out, he goes and tucks in behind there. Come on, come to the front, come to the front. No, I don't want to go. You have to go, my friend. It's your destiny. So all the fish that you can see in this video, guys, are available from Sims Tropical Fish. I couldn't be happier with the fish, and they're all absolutely stunning. And in the previous video, I took a tour of their shipping warehouse. I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video. Go and check out their website. Link is above me and below in the description. Right, so that went so much smoother than I thought it was going to. You can see that I used the double sort of net method. I drove the fish into the big net with the small net. Otherwise, it would have just gone run around for ages. But anyway, that worked out perfect. And the temperature of this tank is exactly the same temperature as the Angelfish Aquarium. So we can just move the Angelfish straight across, which is great. Why is that great? What else would I do? <laughs> Right, so I'm letting him just rest there for a minute. I just want him to calm down a little bit before I release him because sometimes these fish, angelfish, I mean, when they get spooked, they just shoot across so, so fast. They bump into stuff and you're just like, hey, hey, what the hell are you doing? Sort yourself out. So I'm just going to let him chill out for a minute and then we can release him into the wild. Well, it's the fish tank, not, not the wild, but you, you know, it's quite wild. Trying to go down. There you go. Woohoo! Look at that. Stunning. Look at how good he looks, but he's a really, really nice fish, isn't he? Look at those bars. Hey man, this is my home. Like, this is where I live. Please remove yourself. They're charming. Look, even the Tetra are all sort of coming over. They know that something new's in the tank. Where's Guy Diamond? Ah, there's Guy Diamond. He's just peeking in there. He's not been up long. That's probably why. I can see you, buddy. Look at his eye. I'm watching waiting uh, is, is that not the most stunning fish ever i mean he's not quite as good as guy diamond in my opinion but he looks 
good, guys, didn't he? He's not easily spooked this one either, which is what I really like. Like, if I go up to Guy Diamond like this, Guy Diamond has gone. Look at that. Oh, tilt, tilt, tilt. Anyway, guys, that is an awesome fish. He is going to love it in there. We have got loads more stuff to come, though, so make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.